What's up? So today I'm gonna prune an avocado tree to give you a bit of a taste of what it is to prune a fruit tree in an agroforestry. We have to pay attention to a couple of things. First, we want to prune a tree so that it makes it easier to harvest. So I don't want an avocado tree that's too tall, that's gonna cost me a lot to harvest. Then, since we're working with companion plantings, I've got a few different species here with the avocado, I've got to plant it in a way that it's gonna occupy its proper layer. What does that mean? Basically, it's not gonna be too shaded, so more shaded than, than what it likes. It's gonna shade plants that like shade, and it's not gonna shade plants that don't like shade. I hope that made sense. And I'm gonna limit its height so that it's easy for me to harvest the fruits. And I'm gonna shorten the branches in order to build the structure of the plant in a way that it has more productive branches, which is, are basically the branches that are growing sideways. So these are a few basic principles which apply to most of the fruit trees. Of course, each has its peculiarities. One plant likes more sun, the other likes more shade. The other will be used for shading a coffee tree or a cocoa tree or something of the sort. Each plant occupies a different layer. Each plant has a different architecture. So taking all that in mind, the basic principles are the same. So as you can see after the pruning, the avocado looks much lighter. It occupies now its proper layer. And look at how much organic matter it has produced. Besides structuring the tree to branch out and produce more productive branches, it has given me all this organic matter which is now going to be fed back to the system and enrich the system and this is the biggest richness we have. So prune your trees, lay their organic matter on the floor, pump up your system. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope it helps you out managing your garden and I'm waiting for your feedback. This is the Agroforestry Academy crew signing off and I'll catch you all later.